Hello everyone, I'm Sif the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. We're going to talk about some Skyrim skill analysis. Today is going to be one-handed. Now, one-handed, I actually shot this video before and I thought I knew one-handed. And I was doing some research for two-handed because I don't use two-handed. And I looked and two-handed was really dynamic. I'm like, let's look at one-handed. One-handed is dynamic as well. So let me explain what's going on here, guys. So. One-handed at first glance, the main set of stuff is all damage-based. The side with the other weapons is where it gets interesting. So first of all, what I want to talk about is a very, very big weakness to one-handed combat, and that is a luck element, right? 25% chance of paralysis, for example. There's a lot of percent of chances of doing X, and I do not like that in a any combat game in melee like i don't play call of duty and say there's a 25 percent chance of your bullet doing 25 percent damage you know it just doesn't happen so in skyrim i really don't like that but i can see where they're coming from i would prefer it to where like if you did um i'm trying to think of something like two or three paralysis power attacks Within 10 seconds, the person gets paralyzed, right? I would prefer something like that over just a simple 25% chance. You know, granted, four, you know, four, every one out of four strikes is going to par paralyze, but you don't know which one it's going to be. So let's get to the weapons. Okay, now there's something very distinct about the weapon classes in Skyrim, and that is swords do critical damage, axes do bleed damage, and maces and hammers ignore armor. Now, when you're one-handed, you know, first off, you kind of got to spec out to the best of what you want to use. You want, you, you're you using maces, ignore armor. You're using swords, crit strikes. Using axes, bleeding damage. You know, if you're carrying around an axe, you probably should spec out the axe. Later on in the game is where it gets very, very interesting. You become a true master of one-handed. I really like this skill. Now, I used to think it was all garbage because it was just 25% extra this, 25% with this, 25% with this. I thought it was that. No. You use weapons for different things. You use swords. Swords are more... Swords and knives are more for assassins, but they're kind of like your overall... Okay, I kind of don't know how to fight this enemy. The mace, amazing for heavy armor opponents because it ignores... If you spec it out, 75% armor damage. That's a lot. Like, if someone has 100 armor with heavy armor, you ignore 75% of that armor. That's a lot. That is an amazing buff. Then you have the axe, which is bleed damage, which is the passive damage. So the axe is kind of for those who, in my opinion, use light armor, where you go in, swing, and back up, right? It kind of does that little bit of extra damage to where maybe they're a light armor opponent or they're just someone where your timing with a mace sucks. You get a comp with an axe and you're good with an axe. Or you're you kind of the sword is not doing its thing. You swap to the axe. Bam, they're bleeding. You keep doing it. It's awesome. Maybe the, the bleed damage kind of caused them to yield. Instead of having to hit them two more times, you just got a free kill. Anything like that can happen with the axe. And I love this about one-handed, okay? My biggest gripe with Oblivion and its combat is how ununique it is. It's very simple. Swords swing faster, maces and hammers do more damage. That's all Oblivion's combat system is. Um, there's some other stuff that the silver weapons do that are really passive, but really affect the game that much and I believe it's my experience that power attacks um, with swords are faster but it feels to me as though the maces with paralyzing and all that stuff kind of pull it off more so that's my experience with Oblivion Skyrim I mean if you're rocking a mace a sword and an axe and you spec it out all the way and you know how to use all those weapons you can comp for some serious enemies you know if you're not a magic user and you see a heavy armor guy pop out that mace and beat the crap out of him 
And that's really it for these weapons. I love one-handed because block has some really cool skills. And it just, it flows so nice together. So overall, I think one-handed is a very good, unique skill. It's also good for noobs and pros. Pros, you obviously can see the spec outs. But if you're a noob, even though, you know, there's a heavy armor guy and you're using a sword against him, you still spec'd out the sword, you're using the sword, it's still gonna help you out. Not as much as if you're using a mace and spec'd out mace, but, you know, it's still a buff. And that's the important part. So guys, let me know what you think of one hand in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Obliv or not Oblivion, Skyrim skill analysis. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam It Post or whatever I said tonight.